We are at the 2012 Capered North Central District Conference at Sacramento State, and we are working on our basic volleyball skills. And the first one is the bump and bounce, bump and bounce. And the second one is the continuous bump. And the third one is you bump and open your arms. And now, of course, that is not the fundamental way of doing it. The reason you open your arms is so that you can show that you can reconnect your arms without having to look at your arms. This creates muscle memory. Okay, we are now practicing our setting of the ball. The hard way of doing it is simply set it up and catch it. Set it up, then catch it. And then the harder way is continuously set the ball. And the hardest way is to set the ball, have your hands come down and go back up again. Again, this is just to test how fast you can reposition your hands to set the ball. You would not normally want to do that in a volleyball match. Okay, the next one we are practicing is combining the bump and the set where you put the two skills together. You bump it up and then you set it. Bump it up and set it. We are now practicing our serves. The idea is to stand a little further back. After you have practiced and mastered your serving mechanics, to add power to your serve, what you want to do is simply serve faster. Swing your arm faster, step forward faster, and then you'll add power to your serve. Okay, we are practicing positioning how to receive a forearm pass. The idea is on this drill is have a partner lob the ball and the other partner catch it between the knees. Okay, now go ahead and bump the ball back. Once you're able to catch it between your knees, go ahead and bump the ball back. Because if you're able to catch it with your knees, then you are in very good position to bump the ball back. Okay, now we are practicing how to bump the ball sideways. With a partner, you take the ball and you toss it up and you bump it at shoulder height level while dipping the shoulder towards the target. Hitting the ball at the forearm. And now we are practicing bumping backwards. The secret to bumping backwards is make contact above your head. If you make contact above your head, the ball will go back. If you don't, it will go either straight up or forward. Contact above the head. Alright, now we are challenging our partner with all the skills combined. You're going to just simply lob the ball and your partner needs to make the appropriate correct response. If it's a nice high lob, he or she will set it back. If it's a low ball, he or she will dig it up with a forearm pass. If it's to the left or to the right, they will angle the platform. If it's a nice high one, they will set it.
you're gonna make them move forward or backwards and you're gonna have them practice a few spikes as well controlled spikes okay we are now peppering combining all our skills that we have practiced so far you're gonna try to bump it set it and spike it with your partner the idea is to keep it in play you're not trying to overpower your partner keep the ball in play make the proper adjustment Now practicing calling for the ball. You have a group of three, one who's going to toss the ball to two people. Who, whoever wants the ball has to say, got it, mine, or indicate in some way verbally that they want the ball. Then it's up to the other person who's not getting it to get out of the way. And now, same drill, except this time we're in tandem. One in front, one in back. If the person in the front don't want the ball because it's too high, what she's going to do is open the door by doing a reverse pivot, yell help, and then that's up to the person in the back to step up and get it. The person in the back should always assume the person in the front will need help. You can always stop. If the front row person gets the ball, simply let her get the ball but be ready to help. Because if you're not ready to help from the get-go, you'll never be able to react in time if she does need to help. All right, we are now adding a combination. If it goes to the back, instead of just bumping it back or spiking it back, you're gonna try to pass it to a partner who will then set it or spike it. They're gonna pass it, bump it, set it, well done. You're going to have a combination. Way to call for that. That was good communication. Good movement. She called for it. Very nice save. Good job. Once again, he called it. Well done.